been a while. I'm out here. Pit. It's just barely enough snow to ride. But I'm out here. I'm gonna do a little review on this thing. It's been a while since you guys have actually seen it. Yeah, and also, um, last year in April sometime, I posted a video about this thing, and you guys gave it over 200 views. Like, wow. You did a good job. Okay. So, just gonna do a little review, a little walk around, start up. Don't have a tripod with me, so... Can't take a clip of doing a little riff around. So yeah. Have a look at the hood. Under the hood, I guess. 1989, so she's seen her days. She's a bit old, but that's fine. New belt put on last year. Uh this thing was completely restored. It was in really bad condition. We got it for like 400 bucks. And, uh, spent another 400 bucks on it and got her all fixed up. I'd say you'd be able to sell, them, sell her for a little bit more now. And these short track bobbles in Red Newfoundland, they, they go for a lot. Well, not go for a lot, but everybody wants them. In there is, I don't know. I know more about dirt bikes than I do skidoos. It's exhaust. Plug. Plug in there. It's for the brake. Can't really see it, but it does move. Lights do work, high and low, both work. So yeah. I guess we'll do a little little start up. So I do it with the I'll put the hood down and then I'll start it, then I'll put the hood back up. I'm not gonna bother strap it. She barely starts now, she hasn't been running too good, but So uh, I don't know why, but it does. Yeah. So, oh, do have ski skins. The bar is broken on me, cracked right here, and it's cracking on this side. That's long ago. So my dad got at it and gave it a nice sturdy grill tape job that will that'll hold up for the time being. Also, last year I tipped it over and broke this off. Well then, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, yeah, there's nothing else really to do. There's oaks and rocks sticking up everywhere, up, up here, so. Peace.